Katie Wolf, and welcome to the event online in Chat Mario. I'm an infarct with Matthew. The new Herman. Fire government unveiled plans to bring back 1,400 Delta doctors. And then she did a priority to meet others. Hopefully, show to honor in the person. Then it said, Government plans 11,000 almagering enrollment in FCCC. Farah Muna, Olomo Omar, Hamed Professor Abu Bakar Amana, for free for my lesson. Dr. Yaya Loewe, Raja Bola Sari, inspires younger generations at KCBI Legacy Program. FCC Germanship candidates Hey, thank you, Vicky, to ask our local program. Minister assures Nigerians of saving car offers. Resident doctors threaten twice over prolonged police abduction. For Ethiopia, seek forensic proof in sustained Nigerians for performance. <laughs> President Bola Tinobu has approved the national policy on health workforce migration to address the continued exodus of Nigerian doctors abroad. The policy announced by the Coordinating Minister of Health and Social Welfare, Professor Mohammed Chachi, on Tuesday, aims to move an estimated 3,400 Nigerian student doctors practicing abroad. The Senate has taken to fight at the Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited, the Federal Inland Revenue Service, and the Nigerian Police Force, and others, for their persistent refusal to respond to queries raised against them in the 2019 audit report. Expressing the anger of the Senate Committee on Public Accounts to journalists in Abuja yesterday, the Committee Chairman, Senator Ahmed Ali explained that the heads of the fact check agency refused to respond to queries raised against them in the 2019 audit report after several opportunities offered to be so. The Minister of Education, Professor Tahir Maman, has said over 11,000 out of school children in the LCC to be enrolled in school by September 2024. Speaking Abuja while well, taking a tour of the SCC Smart School in Turkey, alongside the Minister of State for Education, Sanko Sinumu, Mama reiterated the government's commitment to tackling the out of school children Nena. The Olomu of Omaru is Royal Island of our addressing has commended the Director General of National Institute for Legislation and Democratic Studies, Professor Laiman Abubakar Amina, for initiating the statewide long holiday free summer lesson for students. The monarch made recommendations during a British study by the Amina Project Team, led by Principal Coordinator Arubidesi Kalsi on Wednesday. Abba Abdul Rahim praised Professor Amina's commitment to education and its efforts to provide free summer lessons to students across foreign states. In perfect air conditions and in prosperity, uh -huh. so that I can spend more for the people. Uh -huh. so, well, I thank you on behalf of the community that he has done very well, you know, that, that it's only the Lord that will reward, reward and compensate him. Thank you very much. The team, after long duty, proceeded to the Latin Center at Muslim Secondary School, Umara, where they addressed the students and encouraged them 
to take advantage of the free common lessons to improve their academic The choir has received relevant initiative mentorship skills program, held a captivating session at his office in Tulare, featuring from our past and so senator, Dr. Ibrahim Yaya Lored as a keynote speaker. Dr. Lored has shared his life experiences and turned into struggle while guiding and motivating the younger generation to strive for excellence. He emphasized the significance of tolerance, perseverance, and work, and dedication in achieving greater success. It's a privilege and an opportunity to be able to speak to the young guys who are the today and tomorrow of this country, to be able to provide them with some guidance on how to run the race of life. Uh, I thank the organizers for providing this opportunity for the young ones and for those of us who have passed through a certain stage of life to share our experience and to be able to serve as guider and as guardian to those that are coming behind. So I thank them and I pray that uh, they'll be rewarded abundantly. And I encourage them to continue like this and to say that we should have programs like this so that our today and tomorrow will be better than our yesterday. The program which aimed at inspiring and empowering individuals in our case, provides them with invaluable insights and guidance from accomplished leaders like Elijah Gola Sanyi, who provided meaningful insights that will help them in shaping their future. He advised the parents to not think for their children, rather be a good mentor for their children's career. The all progressing Congress challenge finalists for our local government, Alaji Keu Yaya Amasha, has said a thank you visit to Otavala, the Great Bar Town, to express his gratitude to the people for their support and prayers during the primary local government election. The challenge finalists appreciate the love and support shown by the people while urging them to continue the support in September 23rd local government elections by voting in ATC candidates for both chairmanship and councillorship positions across the state. He also thanks for shareholders, candidates, and executives for their trust in him while pledging his social commitment to the party and future of other local government. He equally appreciated Governor Abbasman Abdul Razak for his trust and support in his candidacy. The Alangwa of Gudreba Town and Alangwa of Oteoja, Alaji Ibrahim and Alaji Yusuf Abu, promised social support while praising his commitment to the government for the people of the local government. The visitation was great by a Fayad Shukun, representing over the Oneri constituency, with a Rashidat Omoni, Philippa Sulaiman, Malan Yusuf Mahmoud, Aladi Abdulazak Abdulrahman, and other stakeholders in Asa local government. The Minister of Fa, Adrebayo Adelabu, as a short Nigerian, who stable and stable hard work life, in all parts of the country. It stated this in Calaba Cross River on Tuesday when it paid an inspection visit to Calaba Parkland of Niger Delta Car Aging Company. Adelabu said the federal government is consolidating and reforming the power sector and at ensuring stability of power across the nation. The national organization of resident action has threatened to embark on nationwide strikes in the abducted summit. Dr. Gania Tukola is now released by August 26. The president of MERS, Dr. Dele Abdullahi, made a declaration at the press briefing in Abuja and Wednesday, stating that the organization has lost patience with the government in action over the abduction. The last on the news is four. From 4th 
of sacred as in the country have taught conferences so this is the part of performance of criminal theory as a just of being that person can afford policing the cross-section of court and social who spoke on Tuesday in Abuja lamented the lack of podium filling for any of the registered athletes in their respective events. They said there was a need for a thorough investigation into everything that transpired at the case, right from its inception to the end. Government on the plan to bring back 5,400 Shafa chapters, NMCCM, FRS, to me, other so to honor each person, then it's a lot. Government plans 11,000 as much enrollment in FCC schools. For a minute, a lot of commands, comments from the advisory amendment for free command lessons. Dr. Yaya Oloregbe, Alanga Bola Shani, inspired younger generation at KCDI's mentorship program. APC Chairmanship Family paid 13 visits to Asa Lokin Kovna. Minister Asol Nardian of Cebu Park Supply. Resident Director of Strike Strike over the long selling adjustment. Sport Enthusiast to first show into Team Nigeria's work with Thomas. Thank you for watching this event online news. To know how much there is to know in the beginning of money. For money, this is a bigger view of this event online at home and to read more of this. Follow us on our social media platforms to help our job event online. You can also send us an email on job event online at email.com. I am an impulse.